Hey everybody, this is Sean. I ordered one of the Quantum X upright vacuum cleaners. Um, the reason that it attracted me was because it had the water canister. It doesn't have a filter. It's got the water and it's upright and looked like it would be a pretty good deal. I've had the same Dyson DC 41 for about 10 years and um, you know, I've cleaned it on occasion. Recently, I replaced the rollers underneath because the threads were, or whatever those little brushes are were starting to wear down and wasn't cleaning that well. And right now, it's got some kind of whistling sound. Every time you pull it back, it goes, ooh, ooh. It really sounds like it's in <laughs> pain. But I saw this other vacuum cleaner, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So it's supposed to be here today. And what I did was I got my DC 41 out, my Dyson, and I cleaned the rug. And I'm going to show you the rug now. And when I get the vacuum cleaner, um, the new one, I will uh, run it over and see if, if there's anything left. See if uh, it's as good as they say it is. Okay. Um, right now, let me show you the floor. Hold on just so a second. I have to put my big coffee table up on the side while I vacuum the rug. Um, again, this rug is, uh, we've had it for a very long time. It's not an expensive rug, but um, right now it's fairly clean. I did go over it with the Dyson. Uh, yes, there's lots of dirt in the canister, but I didn't empty it the last time I used it. So, um, because, you know, one thing I don't like about emptying that is that when I put it in the trash and dip it, all the dust comes flying up. And you kind of have to vacuum where you just let all that dust out. So, so right now this is this is the rug. It looks pretty clean. When I get the new one, um, I'll show you guys that too. Okay. Well, that didn't take too long. It wasn't too awfully difficult to put together. This is where all the magic happens, I guess, right here. So I'm gonna put some water in it and see how this bad boy works. Okay, so I just did a simple run over the same spot that I did the um, the Dyson. First thing I really like is that the on off button, like it's just kind of like a touch screen. Wow. How easy that is. Oh, the cord, nice and long. I can probably go quite a ways with it. Um, it is, excuse me, it's very easy to tilt back. See? And when you turn it on, you get this cool light down there. So now for the big reveal, I'm going to put it in the light so we can see what, oh gross, oh that's what my vacuum cleaner was leaving behind. Okay, I'm going to take this off. Oh, that looks uh, like a lot of smoky and Owen hair there. Oh, that's gross. So that is what my Dyson missed. And I went over the very same spot that I did with the Dyson, with this thing. Oh, I don't know if I really want to show this or not. That kind of grosses me out. <laughs> All right. Okay, so another feature I didn't tell you about yet was the extended version. Look at that. That is, uh, adds to like another 24 inches, I think, so that you can go under things. There's this simple little extend button here. You push it and then you pull that up. So let's see what we can get.
that was really cool. Okay, it's just another cool feature of this vacuum cleaner. I don't know if you could hear me while I was running it, but when you go from carpet to hardwood to tile, it automatically adjusts so you don't have to push another button to switch it from hardwood to carpet. That was something that on my other vacuum cleaner, I couldn't tell if I had to push the button which position it should be in for the carpet or the hardwood. So this way you don't have to worry about that. No, they're not. So again, overall, I would put, I'd give it more than one and a half thumbs up. I'd give it one and, and four fifths. Just the, uh, the cord storage. I mean, you could take it out and put it in the bag every time, but that kind of means you have to get the bag out every time, even if you're not using the accessories or the extensions, stuff like that. Um, so maybe a little uh, better cord storage while you're not using it. Other than that, the thing is awesome. Uh, I've only used it once. <laughs> so we'll see how it holds up. It does come with a base three-year warranty. And I got it for $3.99, which is about the same I paid for my Dyson uh, 10 years ago. Um, so, so far... Uh, I've done a lot of my hardwoods. My first floor is all hardwood except for the bedrooms and I haven't gone into there yet. Um, so, but I, I really like the, the uh, from floor to carpet to tile um, without hesitation. That was, that's a really nice feature too. And when you are vacuuming, your dust isn't flying out through filters and, and flying everywhere. Uh, a lot of vacuum cleaners if you um, <laughs> if you take a flashlight when it's running and look so around the canister you'll see dust flying everywhere so I'm kind of counterproductive if you ask me um, so if you're looking for a new vacuum cleaner I'm gonna put a link to the um, the uh, website underneath this video this is my very first <laughs> my very first um, review video that I've ever done. And like I said, I, I'm not getting paid for this. This is not an affiliation. This is just, I'm a share person and when I find cool things that I like, I like to share them. So, um, I don't know, maybe give me a thumbs up or something. There's no channel to join yet. I don't know, maybe there is. <laughs> maybe I have to have a channel before I can post on YouTube. I do have a couple videos, so I guess I'll figure all that out. but. Again, the link will be in the description, and let me know if you end up getting one, okay? Uh, have a great day.